Patricia Piccinini and Joy Hester's exhibition Through Love is showing, actually opening at Tarawara Museum of Art this Saturday, November the 24th. And we're very humbled and excited to be having a chat to the artist herself, world-renowned artist and creative mind and person, Patricia Piccinini. Thank you so much for joining us on the Oranges Life TV. It's a pleasure. I'm really glad you're here. Now, one thing I love to ask the creative minds that we speak to is, when did you first start expressing yourself creatively through through your works and through art? Um, I think as a teenager, I started to uh, make drawings, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, after a while, I got to art school, and then it was full on. Fantastic. Yeah. And the progression from art school, um, what was the journey like through there? A bit rocky, so um, I did uh, study economics at ANU beforehand because I thought it's going to be a hard world to enter the art world, but I realised I was going to never be a good economist, so <laughs> I might as well just try. And, be an artist. And thankfully, of course, you discovered your, your passion and, and your amazing skill. Yeah, well, I always knew I wanted to do it, but I didn't have the courage to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's always the biggest challenge when you're stepping out into something new. Um, there's always the fear from, you know, the, the family and friends around you, the influence saying, oh, you know, get a real job and that yes, kind of thing. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And of course, we're here at uh, Tarawara Museum of Art with your fantastic exhibition, Through Love. Mm. Um, now, you were heavily influenced by Joy Hester. I was. So I discovered her in my third year of my economics degree. Mm -hmm. And it was her work that gave me the courage to think that I could do it too. Yeah, because I was really inspired by it and what she was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. We're actually here in front of one of your pieces called Sanctuary. Yeah. And this is pretty much the, the, the unveiling of the piece. I made it for this exhibition, yeah. Wonderful. Mm. And what inspired the, the exhibition as a whole through love? Well, it was Victoria Lynn's idea. She saw the connection between our two practices. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thrilled that she could see it because no one else has. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the main message that you're trying to express through, through your works? Well, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm interested in really is how we relate to what we consider natural and what we consider artificial. So that's the overriding thing. Uh, and there are a lot of ethical implications of those ideas. But there's always going to be a level in most works about uh, relationships. And often it's about love. So with this work here, uh, it's about, uh, well, actually, it's much more uh, straightforward. It, because we can see that it's an intimate relationship, mm -hmm. that they're very connected, that they're um, very together. And, uh, and we look at them and we see, but they're not human. Um, what are they? They're yes. chimeras. What kind of a chimera are they? Well, actually, they're half human, half bonobos. And bonobos are interesting because um, we know so little about them. We, didn't even know that they were a different species. We thought they were chimpanzees, but they are very different from chimpanzees. They're a matriarchy, and they're very sexualized creatures. They resolve conflict through sex, um, and there's no infanticide. They, you know, they're very. Um, they act in a very different way. They don't have an alpha male. All the males can have progeny. They're very different, mm -hmm. um, and I was interested in them because. Um, they're a different way of being, um, and, and, and that's interesting. So we look at them, they're a bonobo chimera. How do we relate to this I idea of, of, of these unnatural creatures, um, even though they have these perhaps positive traits, ways of being that we might be interested in in this time? Um, but it's, it's so complex uh, because do we want to change nature to help it stay with us is a really big question that we are interested in as a community. So it's a very complex work with all these sort of uh, references that I think most people will get. Um, 
And indeed they are, they're very powerful pieces. Um, I love your work and one of the, the, the pieces that um, we were very lucky to be following up in the sky this morning yeah. is your amazing Sky Whale piece. Yes, um, that was a great morning. It was wonderful and yeah. to see Sky Whale above the skies in the Yarrow Valley. Yeah, um, it was great. Powerful stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, what inspired Sky Whale? Um, the idea that uh, nature is not really here for us. Mm -hmm. We're just lucky to witness it. Mm -hmm. So whales evolved from little creatures. They're a bit like donkeys. Mm -hmm. They were mammals. They are mammals. They went back into the sea and became gigantic and intelligent um, and adapted to a very difficult environment. But they could have easily have gone into the air depending on, of course, the, the evolution. That's right. Yes. I mean, it's just as difficult an environment. Mm -hmm. um, they could have evolved into the sky well, but they didn't. They evolved into the biggest creatures that have ever roamed the earth in yes. the sea. Yes. Um, but, but it could have gone any way. Oh, yeah. and, and perhaps the sky well uh, has been hiding all this time and uh, or uh, has she been genetically engineered or she brings all these ideas to our minds um, and at the same time it was really inspiring was that it's not a site for art you know these balloons are often are not actually art objects ever mm. there are other things they're flying machines or they're ads or whatever it is mm -hmm. they're not often an art object she's a beautiful creature um, and we were very humbled, as I said, to, to share that with our viewers this morning. And um, look, we, we are so stoked that you've brought your work here to Tarawara. Um, and of course, it's showing right through to uh, next year, isn't it? Yeah, till, till February, March. Till February, yeah. fantastic. So, yeah. of course, we're encouraging our viewers, of course, to discover the Tarawara Museum of Art, to discover and connect with the wonderful work that you've brought here, of course. Um, and it's, as I mentioned, it's Patricia Piccinini and Joy Hester's through love exhibition here at the Tarawara Museum of Art. Um, please uh, come out over the weekend, enjoy the, uh, the, the wonderful pieces on display, reflect, connect, and uh, yeah, get back into the, um, the art, so to speak. And uh, Patricia, look, thank you so much for sharing so, some of your comments and time with us here on Yarrow Just Live TV. Yeah, Hope to pleasure. see you again and Skywhale again very soon. Hope so. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you.